Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, education, um, guidance, advice for B'nai Noach, Noahides, converts to Judaism, Gerim, and um, Balei Tshuva, people who were born Jewish and are now returning or coming for the first time to Hashem and to Yiddishkeit. And in a previous video, I uh, mentioned the Korach Rebellion in the Book of Numbers. Uh, and um, I, uh, I was talking about the, the reaction of Moses and Aaron falling on their faces and their humility. I want to shift the attention this afternoon um, to Korach himself. He wasn't just some guy, some you know, Tom, Dick, or Harry from the congregation. This is someone who was a tzaddik. He was a, a noble person, came from a noble family. He, it was... Um, it was Korach who was one of the people who carried the Aaron Kodesh, who, who carried the, the Holy Ark of the Covenant. So how was such a righteous guy able to make uh, such a blunder as to challenge the, uh, the authority of Moses? <clears throat> Excellent question. Uh, Chazal say that, uh, our sages say, that Korach had a vision. Vision was actually true. A vision of the future, a vision of his future descendants, the sons of Korach. Many times in the in the book of Psalms, we see Psalms being sung by the sons of Korach. And um, Shmuel and Avi, Samuel, the prophet, a descendant of Korach. His, his mistake, his blunder, was that he presumed that because uh, future generations from him were going to be tzaddikim, or going to be righteous people, that he too must be a righteous people, a righteous person. He must be a big shot. And he was somehow entitled to, um, to the leadership more than Moses. Chazal uh, caused this, um, this dispute. And this is the, the prime example uh, of, an, uh, of a dispute. This is uh, uh, people, when they talk about mechlekes, uh, dispute, they point to the argument between Korach and, and, um, and Moses, um, where Moses was completely right and Korach was completely wrong. It was a hundred to zero. Usually it's, well, he's mostly right and he's got a good point, but he went, no, hundred to zero, Korach was completely wrong. How could he make this mistake? Um, uh, Chazal cause, uh, called his uh, argument, his claim, his rebellion, Shtos. Uh, in Yiddish, we would say narishkeit, uh, foolishness, stupidity. Um, it was just, um, it was just uh, foolishness for him to start. He went with it, and we all know what would happen. He, he said, "Let's God, let God decide uh, who's right and who's wrong." The uh, earth opened up, big crack in the earth. Korach and his guys fell in. The earth closed. End of rebellion. Um, with um, this is a problem with people who feel a calling um, to leadership they feel they're somehow entitled to it that they deserve it either by their pedigree, their genealogy their status in society rather than as the will of God or something that God is calling them uh, to do. Um, if it's God's purpose, if it's God's will for you to lead, if He's given you these gifts, then maybe uh, maybe that's what you should do. But it's not that you've earned it. Uh, you're not entitled to it. Uh, this is something that, like all things, that. Uh, is a gift from God, and it's our responsibility to uh, use this gift astutely and uh, not uh, with such tragic results as happened uh, to uh, Korach and his, uh, and his rebellion. Uh, he's a tragic figure in the Torah, uh, Korach. He had such potential for achievement. He could have reached the heights. But because of his shtus, because of his narshkai, his foolishness, his stupidity, he was 
blinded uh, to the truth. Uh, his ego, his desire for power um, blinded him. Um, he should have realized that um, efforts are meaningless unless they're blessed by Hashem. Um, it's, it's not sufficient for you to just want something. The fact that you want it, that's not enough. Are you up to it? Is this something that is your destiny? Hard question to answer honestly. Uh, a vain person, uh, uh, someone who's uh, self-centered, someone who has a uh, superiority complex, says, yeah, sure, I deserve it. Looking at it harshly, looking at it, looking at it in a cold light, different story. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, when you look at it, is it any wonder that Chazal um, refers to him uh, and his, uh, his rebellion as Shdos, as uh, foolishness, as stupidity. Uh, maybe it's 2020 hindsight, but um, it doesn't look so good. We should learn from this example. We're going to be doing uh, more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Amuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.